seen a lot of growth in Ohio for several months. What's your assessment on uh, how that's going and, and what needs to change? Well, look, we're up 162,000 jobs, and, and, you know, these job reports, they have to settle down before we know exactly where we are. We remain in the top ten in job growth in the country, but there isn't any question that we face a headwind from Washington. There's no doubt about it. I mean, whether it's government shutdowns or whether it's a threat of higher taxes, uh, whether it's uncertainty, is, you know, you see the stock market sh sto uh, soar, but you don't see a lot of investment by companies because they're sitting on the sidelines and what they're, they're just not comfortable about where we're going as a country. And it has a profound impact, not only in Ohio, but across the country. The kind of job growth we've seen or economic growth has been anemic compared to most, uh, to most recoveries. But nevertheless, we dig in and do everything we can. And we have some successes that uh, you'll be hearing more about some of, the, some of the more significant ones soon. I was just out in eastern Ohio where we, where we saw about $1.4 billion invested in the state. So there's a lot of good things happening in the state, but we still have a long way to go. I mean, we suffered a lot of loss uh, through the uh, recession, and, you know, we're on our way back. The most important thing is for Ohio now to be viewed, which it increasingly is, is a safe place to do business, that you can trust what we have in Ohio. And um, I'm comfortable that we're hitting on a lot of the cylinders that we need to, from energy to health care to manufacturing. Um, but we have to keep at it every day. Thanks, sir. Okay? Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, you Governor. Governor.